Hello everyone and welcome to class. Our topic today on civic education is popular participation. So I believe you can listen. Popular participation is the willingness and active involvement of the people in the conduct of the affairs of their state. When people willingly try to involve in anything that concerns their states, their country, their community and everywhere they are. It's an attitude whereby a person brings out his or herself to know what is happening, to participate, not actually, not only knowing what is happening, but also participate, getting involved in whatever that is happening in his or her world, country. And it's also important in democracy because in democracy, it is for the people, by the people, everything according to, um, according to what we've been doing, that people should try their best to do what? To participate because it is an important aspect of what? Democracy. It allows for effective operation and stability in the political system. When the public participates in everything that is being happening in their country or their state, it helps the citizens and also helps the, what? the government. So let's look at the factors that promote popular participation. That is the reason why people actually come out to participate in whatever affairs of their country. One is good governance. When the government are for the masses. Did you get what I said when I said the governments are for the masses? There are governments that are for themselves, not for the masses. So whenever the governments are for the masses, the people will always want for what? A change. The people will always want to participate so that things can move onward. Well, the supremacy of the constitution. When the constitution is being used, and you know that the supremacy of the constitution, nobody's above the law. When the offenders are being punished for their action, without even looking at the person's political status or political whatever. Are we getting what I'm saying? The third one is respect for human rights. When people's rights are being respected, when the, 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 the laws are not for the poor and or for the uh, for the rich, that the laws are equal and everybody's rights are being what respected. And before is that when there is mass education, when people are educated and mass, when people are told, let look at this is what we are supposed to do. This is how you are not supposed to do it. Are we together? This one is enlightenment campaign. People need to campaign. Enlightening people. Okay, look at what is happening in this uh, 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 this election that is coming up very soon. People are being enlightened. This is why you need to vote this person. This is why you don't need to vote this person. That is what enlightenment was. Campaign. Then freedom of the press. The press should own their freedom. The government should not gag the press in the sense that they will tell the press, this is what you are supposed to report and this is what you are not supposed to report. No. There should be what? Freedom of press. So that even if the people that are coming out to air their own opinion, participate in whatever affairs of their country, their voices will be what? Heard. And remember that this can only be applicable in a democratic system of what? Government. Application of the rule of law. Rule of law must be applied. The offenders must be punished. The people that need to be praised must be what? Praised. It shouldn't look at wh whoever asks is what? God. The next one is free and fair election. When the election is free and fair, then people can be allowed. People can come out and participate en masse in whatever they are what doing. I believe you are listening. Okay, look at uh, uh, this, our upcoming election. With the way things are going, if INEC should hold on with the way they are doing things, that means we might eventually have free and fair words, election, and then the people's choice will be what given to them. Are we together? All right, let's look at why people don't participate in what politics. Yes, there are so many reasons why people don't participate in politics. One is not few political promises. You know, when all these politicians, most of these politicians are campaigning, they will say, I'll do this one, I'll create a job for the youth. I'll do at the end of the day, they will end up not doing any of the things they said. So when or, when one or two people have said, ah, is it not what they've been promising us since? Have they been able to achieve anyone? You know, when people start saying such a thing, that means people are seeing reasons why to not what participate in what politics the next is what illiteracy when people when the society are filled with illiterate people on political activities you know you can you can be an illiterate on every aspect of life so when someone is illiterate in political affairs those people that that are not concerned those people that have already formed a party that nothing concerned them with any affairs of the politics of their country those who cannot read and write cannot be allowed to contest for any elective position yes if someone cannot understand something and that is why in nigeria i think for the presidential candidates the, the highest qualification is WAEC. Why for the governorship, I think, is a degree or... So then, you, that is why you can say that if you are not literate enough, you cannot participate in what politics is because you should know what is what's happening. The next one is violence during an election. I know I've seen so many people that I will ask them, do you have your PVC? They'll say, yes, I have, but I'm not going to vote. Why won't you vote? I don't want to be killed. When 
there is violence during the election. People stay away. People stay from popular participation because of frequent violence that are characterized in most elections. They prefer to sit at home to avoid being victim of violence. They prefer to stay out on their own because you don't know if you come out whether you will get killed or what not. The next one is what? Poverty. People don't actually come out to, to participate in politics because the cost of these political campaigns and, and all what not are so high. I can remember when they were selling phone for presidential uh, um, in, uh, for people that want to participate in presidential election, and, you will, and we are hearing 20 million, 10 million, 100 million, 200 million, 500 million. And you'll be asking yourself, as a, a poor mass, as an ordinary citizen that can't afford such, you cannot even be able to come out to contest for whatever you want to contest. The next one is what cultural and religious belief. So, religion and do not allow women everybody to participate yes so religion will say that it is not good for us to participate in politics yes i know of a particular uh, christian group that will tell you people that they don't participate in politics so this can also be a hindrance towards our political campaigns and whatever and every other thing the next one is what fear of intimidation people that are scared of being intimidated we also stay away from politics we have disability people that are physically challenged yes because of fear too because they don't know if they come out, they will be marginalized or they will be intimidated. Are we getting this? Military involvement. We said that frequent intervention of the military in the administration of the state can create a lack of interest because people are scared of the military. And except the military can make the environment so conducive for everybody. If not, when people are scared of constant military intervention, they will stay away. The next is election rigging. That is when... They continue rigging election, making sure that uh, their, their own candidate wins during an election. It's, it discourages people from what participating in politics. So you go back again and listen to this so that you can get why the reason for popular participation and why people need to involve in popular participation and also why people don't involve themselves in what politics. All right, make sure you answer this evaluation question and do have a wonderful day. Thank you and bye.